Hey, what's up? What's up, guys? I wanted to, um, while I'm in the airport, uh, quickly take off my mask to um, let you guys know about some good news um, in the Dow. Uh, the S&P and the Dow have, for the first time, crossed the original highs. They were saying, "What's happening, brother? Good to see you, man." All right, all right. Sorry, I ran into a family member. Um, uh, so the S&P and the Dow just uh, crossed the previous highs from before the pandemic began. Uh, this is a huge moment. This says that all the losses, the declines that occurred after the corona situation began are gone, they've evaporated. And what has happened, as I've mentioned to you guys before, is it created a massive buying opportunity because you had this dip where suddenly all the stock, the entire stock market was 40% off. And uh, if you recall, if you go back and look at the videos I said I made during that time, I wasn't giving you advice, but I was telling you guys, you know, I'm going to be buying everything I can get my hands on because I don't believe that there are uh, fundamental shifts in long term economic progress that will occur as a result of this virus. So basically, you're getting companies that long term wise are pretty much the same in terms of capability and functionality but you've got this wrinkle in time, this temporary moment where suddenly everything's super cheap. So if you started investing, you know, like we talked about buying into the dip, just buying no matter how far the dip went and then kept buying as you came out of the dip, your returns are probably massive. And so, um, especially if you own you know, the stocks, some of the ones that have done amazing things, Tesla, my God, Tesla's hit a record high. It's now the 10 mo 10th most valued company on earth. Um, Apple, Netflix, uh, I think PepsiCo, I own some PepsiCo, they took off. I bought PepsiCo because that was a just a strong f company with good fundamentals. So uh, I don't know what to tell, you know, th those who missed out on this. Um, I'm a big believer that when everybody's freaking out and panicking, uh, that's when you make your moves because that's when there is a disorder and chaos and there's a shifting of power, shifting of wealth. I believe it's very important for you to be rational as a leader of your family to think about how these wealth shifts, shifts are going to work and position yourself to win. Uh, don't position yourself to be frozen in fear. Uh, because, it, it, look, if you're going to get sick, you're going to get sick, right? You, you, could, you put your mask on, sanitize your hands, be careful, socially distance, and then get back to work. So that's what my belief is. That's the core belief of the, of the Black Financial Channel and the Black Business School. And I just want to encourage you to be consistent, remain consistent. So anyway, I'm, I'm really happy. You know, this is a big moment. I thought that I told you guys that I thought it would recover by the end of the year and that the average bear market lasts about 14 months. This was extraordinary because it took three and a half months for that recovery to occur. So this has been pretty amazing. Um, anyway, I'm going to keep you guys posted. Make sure you subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up button, all that stuff. Subscribe to the Black Financial Channel. And also, um, don't forget, we, we, we're talking about stock options now in the Black Business School. If you want to join our options trading masterclass, uh, we meet Wednesday night at 8 p.m. So feel free to go to drboycemasterclass.com. I'm out of here, guys. See you soon. Have a good day. Sorry about the little interruption. Sometimes I run into supporters in different cities, and I'm always happy to see you guys every time. So have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.